Can you say of that? <laughs> You're live. Hi everybody. <laughs> Can't wait for people to tune in. Let us know what you're doing today. It's a spring morning. Not really here in Shelly. It's snowed like crazy. So we're gonna do some spring projects today to maybe convince Mother Nature that it needs to be spring. So we're gonna do some spring and some mod projects. So while we're waiting for people to get on, I'm gonna tell you about some sales and I'm gonna tell you some other things. <laughs> so we've got the inkjet printable, which is what we're gonna be working with today. And it is 20% off and you use code MEASUREUP18. So MEASUREUP18 kind of coincides with the other promotion we have. If you spend $40 or more, you get this cute little, little what do you call it? Insert? Gift bag. Gift I don't bag. Know. <laughs> and it comes with an application tool, your expressions vinyl application tool, and your measuring tape roller. Nice. With our inkjet printable, with our pram, premium, premium <laughs> laminate. The premium laminate, and it will tell you on the insert what we use. So, go get your inkjet vinyl, or not inkjet, it's all printable vinyls, 20% off. And spend $40 or more and get this cute little guy. So, what I want to do today, we're gonna make this Hello Spring sign. Um, Kim over at Today's Creative Life did this a couple years ago. She did one really similar. Um, so this is not my idea at all. I just liked her idea. And she actually used paper and wood pendants that you can get at hobby stores. But we're just going to use inkjet vinyl because it is very okay. stiff. So you don't need any wood. You could put wood or cardstock. I did one where I put cardstock on the back so I could flip it. So one would say spring and one would say summer. So... What I need you all to do for me is I have my pendants ready and we're not going to need a machine for this. I printed on my inkjet vinyl. This is if you have a wide format. If you don't, you can still build your pendants however big you want on the 8.5 by 11 sheet. It's already been laminated with our economy, which is a matte finish. I don't know if I have... I'm just using the economy, but the... I don't know if you can see the difference. This one's shiny. Yet. And this one's my chair is noisy. So this one is shiny. It has a premium. It looks like a shiny sticker. Yeah. And this one has the economy laminate. And the dull matte finish. Yeah. So it just depends on the look you want. But I liked the economy for this one. So I've already got it laminated. Um we'll show you how to do that a little bit later. But what I need you to help me with is I need you to help me pick a color for my hello. So we've got our Tiffany blue glitter, super fun, our melon glitter, and our lime tree green glitter. These are all part of the regular glitter adhesive line. So. And that's going where? For the that hello? That is for the hello. All so, right. Dirty cut, I just need you to help me pick a color. And I need help picking a font. So this one is a silhouette font. Um, it's called ZP Snooky Bug, which is what <laughs> we used on this. Snooky Bug. <laughs> I love that one too. And then we've got a couple other ones. Alyssum Blossom Sands. Donut Derby. Oh, sorry, guys. Can you see them? Lebec Filled and Pear Dragon. Some of these are defaults. Some are fontbundles.com. Some are a couple other places. So. Go through those one more time. I had the camera down a little bit, so it's hard to see. So the first one, <clears throat> Alyssum Blossom, Alyssum Blossom, I always want to say Alyssa Blossom, <laughs> Donut Derby, Lebec Filled, that one I think is from Font Bundles, and when you get that one, it comes with different variations, so this one's the filled one, and then Pear Dragon, that one may or may not be a small one, I can't remember, but there's Oops. the awesome names. So we've so, got Linda from Ohio on, Audrey from Texas, Mary says hi from Minnesota, um, oh, Krista can't see us. Her screen is black. Is, any, is it black for anybody else? Let us know. Um, Let us know if you can't hear us. Consuela from Texas. Laura from Alabama. Okay, now we're getting into Mary and Lee both say blue. Erica says turquoise, so. So far, Tiffany blue is in the lead. Yep. I agree. I like that one. 
And then for the fonts, hold on, let me. I don't know if they'll remember the names. Do one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> so Joanna says the bottom. Okay. Erica says the first one. Lee says the first one. Did you have one that was named Pear Dragon? Yeah, the very okay. bottom one. And then Lebec. Lebec. Oh, my mom's watching. Hi, mom. <laughs> uh, another one for Lebec. Oh, yay. Krista got us. She found us. Mm -hmm. Yay. It wasn't working on her phone. Sorry, Krista. Well, now that you found us, Krista, tell us what color you want and what font you want. What you think we should use. Because I need help. Because I can't have size. Um, maybe it'll help, too. These are the pendants that we're going to use. These are the colors. Um, this one was just a pattern pack that you can get off of Etsy. Um, we'll link later where we got this from. I can't remember what her name is, but I think it's called Tropical Citrus or Tropical Pack. Um, Cause if you look close, we've got some fun little pineapples. So we're gonna do some summer stuff. So this one was just a basic silhouette pattern that already comes with them, but I switched it up a little bit cause this one didn't have any purple. So, okay. Linda says turquoise and third font. Pamela says last font or fourth, number four. Audrey says first. Nicole says number three. My mom says hi. <laughs> and Becky says pear dragon. So Ooh. it's like a it's good like mix of everything. I don't know. Maybe we'll. I think blue is definitely winning on the, or the turquoise is okay. winning for the font or the right. color. Oh, I didn't know. I forgot my transfer tape. So we'll do something in a minute where I forgot my transfer tape. We're going to use this after I use Okay. So. We'll see if we get some more colors or more fonts, but look at my Tiffany blue. Okay, so I've already got these printed out. I'm not gonna use registration marks or anything. I'm just going to cut these by hand because they're a pretty square shape. When you go to print, you can actually turn on your print lines, um, depending upon the version you have. Sometimes you just have to click turn on print lines. On the newest version, you have to actually go to your settings and like adjust it to like 0.5. It'll just barely turn them on. I turned them on to gray. I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah, you can't see it on the purple one better. I just the barely turned gray it on line. the gray so you can see where you're gonna cut. You can see the on the dot. Yeah. And I did the dots too, um, because I was originally going to string it through, but I thought clothes things were cuter. So, okay. Now that it's ready, we are just going to trim them up. You could use a paper trimmer, that's how I did the first one, but really this is not too hard to trim away. And we're using Jessica's Fat Max knife. <laughs> Available at your local Walmart. <laughs> Except the ones in Walmart now look a little different. Oh, are they? They're just a little different. They're not as heavy duty. I have to admit something. I bought like five on Amazon and they're like in my drawer. All of these? Because I lose them. <laughs> so I just get another one out of my drawer. <clears throat> I can never have too many box knives. I know. And I'm afraid they're going to like change the, change it or something and I won't like it. That happens with your lipsticks. That mm. won't happen with vinyl, though, right? <laughs> Maybe. It's harder to lose vinyl. Oh, okay. So who, while we're doing this, because we're also going to be doing a mom's project, I want to know what are you making for spring? What are you making for summer? What are you making for your mom? And what else should we have them do? I want to know what you appreciate. Appreciate about your mom. It's gonna put Jessica on the spot. Your mom's <laughs> My mom is awesome. She is a crafter. She basically taught me how to craft. And she just is a hard worker. She's always working and doing something. Yeah. That's what I appreciate about my mom too. She taught us crafting. I'm pretty sure we all do it. Ruthie says hi. Hi Ruthie! I haven't seen Ruthie for a while. Oh, Mackenzie says she has to put crafting on hold, getting ready to sell her house. Been there, did that last December. I'm in the middle of back together. In the middle of Christmas, crazy yeah. girl. But there was no snow. The snow is all coming now, so I'm okay with that. I hope I'm getting the garbage can. It's really on my <laughs> Okay, so pretty simple. Um, I'd make sure you have a pretty sharp box knife. Mine's getting a little dull, so my cuts are not perfect. All right, 
So that's all it takes. So you could take a punch tool um, and go punch your little holes and then just feed it in how you want. But it's almost a little easier just to do the paper clips. And you can get these at Walmart, you can get them at Hobby Lobby, you can get colors at Hobby Lobby. I just had those on hand. So, all right. So we decided on this one. We'll put these aside and we'll need this out. If I can see my lines. Okay. Oh, Mackenzie has a good question. She says, could you use the print and cut feature on your silhouette for this? Oh, or definitely. your flags? Definitely, you can. If you don't want to do that and it's just easier, just turn your registration marks on. Um, sometimes it helps. Don't move them at all. We've kind of set those to be the best, I don't know, readings for them. Um, you can adjust the thickness lines. I always adjust them to the thickest point. I think it works better. But I have noticed, I'll tell you this on Silhouette, if you print out your page, check the bottom registration mark. So your bottom, I'm trying to think. I'll show you with our coupon so you can see it again. <laughs> so this is how your page would be. You'd have a square up here, you'd have a line here, and then a corner here. This corner sometimes, for whatever reason, moves up. So before you put it on your mat, look at your mat lines and make sure that it coincides with what's on your screen. Otherwise, if it prints low and it's up higher on your um, computer, it's not gonna align right. So keep that in mind. I've had that happen a few times and it's an easy fix. You can move that, just don't move your images. Just move it up a little bit. All right, I'm not the best at weeding with a box knife. I don't know how you do this, Jessica. I, I like it, it's just, I don't know, ingrained <laughs> I in me. can't do it. <laughs> So easy. <laughs> I didn't grab my weeding tool. I never grab my There's one in the drawer. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a Caesar one. What font is your hello in? Oh, that's right. I was going to say that. This is Fowler. Um, this is from defont.com. So it's a free one. All right. Same thing. Square this up. Trivia question. What is around my hello? I asked this question last time. What am I trimming up? What is this? This thing right here. Tell me what that is. Okay, so I think it was between ZP Snooky Bug. <laughs> I just like that one for the name, really. And I think it was, what was the other one? Paradragon. The first one and the last one seem to have a okay. lot of comments. Should we do a battle between? Whatever first comments, get the first five, one or two. Between these two? Between these two, we will do. Between these two, we will do. And while they're battling, we'll get this ready. Belinda's working on fall crafts. Fall? Yeah. Way to be on the ball. <laughs> Way to be on the ball I'm so with fall. <laughs> that should be a slogan. Way to be on the ball with one. fall. There's one. One for one, four for one. Oh, I think it's going to be one. There's a two. One, two? A two. This font? Is this the winner? A one. There we go. Okay. okay. ZP Snooky Bug from Silhouette. And ZP, I'm pretty sure, stands for the um, designer. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So I'm going to take that transfer tape because I didn't bring my transfer tape in. I'm going to save it and I'm going to apply it to that after I get this already. So you have your inkjet vinyl. This will give you some ideas. You've got your little thing from us, your little package. You're going to need your application tool to apply these to these. And you're gonna need your measuring tape to figure out where to put your nails in your board. So I just kind of eyeballed them. So tell me if you can see this. I'm gonna take my trusty pencil here. And I've got some grooves. This is just a board from Home Depot, cut down to like 20 inches and just ripped on a table saw barely touching the blade. So they're super easy to make. Can you tell us the name of the font that we chose again, this font? It is ZP Snooky Bug from Silhouette and Fowler, F-O-L-W-E-R, -F Fowler from defont.com. Okay, so give us a heart if you guys ordered this week and spent over $40 and got the cute little toolkit with this cute little measuring tape that Starla's using. Is that my product placement right there? Yes. <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take my easy measuring tape. So cute. <laughs> and I'm just going to mark it wherever I want, about in the middle above my top line. You can do it wherever. 
I just found that about right there is it's a pretty good point. So, do it again. Doesn't have to be perfect. She doesn't use her lip gloss. Okay, so now I just get myself a face on my board. Joanne is gonna post links for those fonts in the comments. So now you need a hammer. You probably don't need one this big. If you've got a little craft one, it'll be fine. Because this wood's fairly soft and that's kind of overkill. <laughs> that's all I had. So I just got a bunch of nails from either Walmart or Home Depot. They are just smooth shank, number 17, one inch nails. They're probably from Harbor, Harbor Freight, Hobby Lot. One of those three stores in <laughs> Idle Falls. Home Depot. Hobby Lobby, Harbor Freight, Home Depot. Now you know where to start. An H store. An H store. <laughs> okay, so now just line up your nail. I'm not the best at hammering, so don't judge. <laughs> and then I just go in at a little bit of an angle. You don't have to. And then do the same thing. There's probably better alternatives to doing this. I, this is just what I had, and sometimes you just have to do what you have to work with what you have. So you're putting nails in for... This is going to hold the... Close one. string. String. I did that because then if I want to flip it or change out the wording, like we're going to do summer, I can just take it off and flip it around. I just tied it on the end. I said, I'm sure there's more ways to do it. So you're not nailing that, you're leaving a little space. You're not yeah. nailing that in. So you're kind of Frankensteining it. Frankenstein. Here, let me do it closer. Sorry. See how she left a little tiny gap? She didn't nail it all the way in. And you don't want to nail it all the way in so you can remove it if you want. Right there. You can't see him. There he is. <laughs> Super up close. Okay. All right. So now that we've got that set up, you're going to take your, I don't know what this stuff's called, your hemp, hemp cord from Hobby Lobby for $1.99. I saw this on it. <laughs> There's quite a bit on here. So I've made two of these already and they still have a lot. So... What I do is just tie a tiny little knot, put it on your one side, and just tie it tight. And then just give yourself extra. This is plenty. I mean, you're not going to have it draping that far, but you want a little extra so you can kind of move your pendants around. Okay. Now we're going to line them up. I'm going to kind of do it the same. So we've got our yellow. Our green. Do we have any questions? I didn't hear more of what people are doing for their moms or crafting or what they're doing for spring. Or who got who got one of these? Not just that, whatever was in it. <laughs> this and this. I didn't have a camera up very high. <clears throat> Susan says hello spring if it ever gets here in North Dakota. That's why we're doing spring crafts. <laughs> Linda says good morning from Vancouver, Washington. Is it cold up there? I feel like it's really cold in Washington. All right. So, I'm not going to square these up. And I do need the transfer tape, so I'll have to take it off of another one. There's, I have a ton of transfer tape in my office. It's just on that shelf. What? Do you want paper? Need... Clear? Mm, preference? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> just for that one. Just grab whatever. <laughs> I didn't think I needed it. I was gonna try to use it and I forgot to cut it up. Okay, so then you're just gonna pop your, this is our, I forget what I used, Series 31 Cloud White. All right, if we can get this off. Adhesive vinyl. Adhesive vinyl. I like the matte. Series 31 is comparable to 631. They're both removable matte. Why, oh, thank you, Joanne. Look at that. <laughs> Um, but I like ours has a little bit more of a satin finish, so it kind of pops out a little bit more, and then it's not a super high gloss. Gina says cute. Linda says 45 and rainy today. I'd take 45, not the rain though, I don't want the rain. All right. Remind us what font this is again. This one is ZP Snooky Bug. 
Snooky bug. How can you not say that without Snooky laughing? Bug. I know. Snooky bug. He's in Jersey Shore. I know. <laughs> they have a new show. I don't watch it, but <laughs> I just saw. I ran home and watched Jersey Shore. <laughs> I saw commercials when I was watching Teen Mom, okay? <laughs> Does anybody out there watch Teen Mom? I started watching Dance Moms. Oh, my niece used to love that show. It's quite the drama. Oh, weird. <laughs> okay, so we got our summer on there. Christy is spring cleaning, but taking a break to make cute decoration. Ooh, this cute decoration. Yay. Oh, wanna see, wanna share on Sunday. Oh. I will say, when you go to use the registration marks, if you want to do this, if you do that, you'll be, either you'll want to set it so you cut all the way through so you have the backer because it's going to act as your paper, or there's a floating here, <laughs> or get some cardstock or some wood pennants or whatever, just so you have stability. Or you could just stick it on, but I like it hanging. So, okay, and then you're going to take your little close it and... You can make that a little smaller. I kind of like that it overlapped a little bit. So all you're going to do, space them out. You might have to adjust it a few times. I'm not the best at this. Oh, goodness. Becky says having her knee replaced in two weeks, so she's trying to make her house more rehab friendly. Oh, my word. You'll feel like a new woman after that. New knee. Feel like a new knee? <laughs> Noonie? Noonie? Alright. We didn't hear what Joanne appreciates about her mom. Oh, Come Joanne, on, tell us. It would be the same that you guys said. She taught us how to work and how to appreciate things, but really how to work hard. Starla, what did you say your mom's? The same thing. Crafting, sewing, oh, 4 you did. H. All the wood stuff I got from my dad. All the crafting too, because my mom owned a quilt shop for years. Yeah, she, still she does. did. Yeah, she wow. still does. That's awesome. Your mom quilts. My mom quilts. Yeah. Everybody quilts. Quilting is fun. I try. Don't finish them. <laughs> I know. I've got a couple that are like a few years old. Not done yet. Okay. See how easy that was. So, and then you can just adjust it from there. That just kind of gets your and then cut off any excess. So cute. So you could switch it out for every season. And I did make one for my sister-in-law for her birthday and I actually did flip it and I did it backwards. If you want to flip it, S should be over here in case you're wondering. <laughs> Otherwise she's going to have to restring them all. So, sorry Sammy. <laughs> Alright. This was here the whole time. Right? right? <laughs> Okay, take your ultra clear transfer tape. Who loves clear transfer tape? I do. I like actually. <laughs> Jessica's mom wishes she had a talk about how much so hard. <laughs> we appreciate it though. <laughs> Isn't working hard a good thing, mom? She also says cute, cute craft. <laughs> oh, oh, and the, we have a link for the pendant. It was just a silhouette one. There's tons of banner pendants. You can choose whatever you want. I like the shape of the banner, so. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Give what kind of picture. vinyl is this? Sorry. This one was our Tiffany Blue glitter that everybody picked. I'm gonna fold that in half. I saw my weeding box. No one told me what it was. I just told oh. you what it was. Weeding box. And I'm totally eyeballing this. If you want to find the center, I'd measure on the back with your measuring tape. And just kind of put it where you want. I think that's pretty square. It looks pretty square. About pretty square? Yeah, right in between the M's. Okay. Yeah, right between the M's. Right between the M's. <laughs> okay, so you used your measuring tape, and now you need your application tool. And what's this method called? I know someone will know it. You guys can't answer. I know you know what it is. <laughs> right. Ta-da! 
Look at that. Here we go. You're ready for spring and summer. Okay, are we ready to move on to mom? Robin says hinge method. Good job, Robin. Very nice. All right, so we got that one ready. Let me get this one out of the way. We'll put this one on. This one just did Star nice. on my coconut water. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say, Starla's <laughs> drinking coconut water today. Okay, so we've got a fun, we got a lot of inkjet printables that we printed. I was gonna do five, but then I, did, I couldn't decide. So we did a lot more. Okay, so this is from Etsy. And it's called Mommy Deer from, I can't read her name, Jenny? Jenny L. Designs. And we'll have a link for that too, so you can go in there. And it's three bucks. It's really cheap and you get all these printables. That's so cute. what I need you to do again is tell me, I need three colors. I need one for an M, one for an M. And while you guys are deciding, I'm gonna put our Tiffany blue on these little top petals. And then I need a vinyl for my rose, so. Tell me which ones you want. Here's our key card. Very cute. We've got all of those. None of these have been laminated, so the ones that we choose, I will laminate them. We'll show you how to laminate them. So Starla printed these out on printable vinyl. Just printed the patterns out. And I'll tell you this, I print it on paper first so I can see what colors they will actually print out as, because there's nothing worse than printing on your vinyl and it's too dark. For example, this one, when I didn't adjust it, printed out like this. There's nothing there. You can't hardly see the pattern. It's like green, you can barely see it. So, print little swatches. I just did it on cardstock, because that's what I had. You don't have to do it on cardstock, which I wouldn't. I just do copy paper. So, and then adjust it from there using your effects panel. So, let me hear what colors you guys want. I need three of them. Okay, so far we have got, Kathy says number three, the plaid. That's super cute. We got number six, the roses. Joanne says chevron and plaid. Ooh, that would be cute. Mackenzie says number five, that's a chevron. Deb says five, six, and seven. Ooh, that, or no, five, six, and eight, excuse me. Five, six, and eight, those would be cute together. And Nadia says five and two. Ooh, those two would be really cute together. Six for the rose. Tracy says five, two and nine, two and nine. Ooh, that would be cute. The turquoise and then the flowers. Two and nine. These flowers? Which one do you got? These ones. Two and nine. These flowers, yeah, with the mom. Three. Oh, you're getting lots of options. Okay, my mom says one. So this one and then four. Ooh, that would be pretty and seven. So this like line right here. This line right there. Mm -hmm. I like that one too. And have Joanne go get more vinyl because I left it on the desk. <laughs> so it's okay. We were picking colors. Right. So if you look behind me, you will see there's some big EVs, an E and a V. Big EVs. There's an E and a V. Look at that. We're gonna do the same technique for these. This is just our regular glitter. Um, it's almost easier to do it this way for this stuff. And you just stick it on. That's all you have to do. So you've just painted your edges? Mm -hmm. Just paint the edges and stick it on. I marked which ones are the top so they go the right way. And then do that. And then just trim it up. All right. So was there one more than the other that we had? Let's Do you see. Remember? A lot of people like three and five. The plaid and the chevron. Okay. I'll take those ones out. Can't go wrong with polka dots. So these are two. We need one more. Three, five. six as well. Oh, yeah. So the rose. The rose one. This one? Which one's six? I don't remember. The, this one. Sorry. This one. Yeah. And my blue, um, this is just folk art paint from Walmart. They're like 50 cents, they're cheap, but it works pretty good for this stuff. And it is called, I'm gonna say it wrong, Pacific Teal. I have a vinyl color, that color. 
I yeah, we do. <laughs> I was like, painter. I'm pretty sure it's called Pacific Teal. I might just be thinking. So Luann says three, four, and five, and I think that's super cute. The plaid, the polka dot, and the chevron. Oh, yeah. I think those are the, yeah. So M, O, M, something like that. What do you guys think of that combo? Ooh, Gina says um, two, four, one. One, two, yeah, that would be cute. Two, ooh. There's so Too many, many options. Two. You guys have really good ideas. I like them. Um, what was I going to ask everybody? Oh, okay. So, give us a thumbs up if you ordered inkjet. Give us a smiley face if you got your, if you spent over $40, you're going to get your little gift. And give us a laughing face if you're excited to try inkjet vital. I don't have any options. You guys got any other options? <laughs> So there's one. And if it's a little bit off, if it's jagged, because I mean, this is kind of a funky piece of wood, you can just fold over extra, it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys two options. Are you guys ready for two options? Here's option number one. And here is option number two. Option number two. Option number one. What do you guys like best? Kathy says she forgot to order it. It's okay, it's not too late, Kathy. It's till Monday. To the end of Monday. All right, there's our lovely glitter wood. Cute, cute. And these were our other two options. Yeah, I think number two is winning. So this is what will be the rose, I think, was what everybody decided. If that helps anybody. No, we got a couple people saying one. I didn't grab glitter glues on. So what did you just say? One, two, three? Is that what you said? Uh, we had, okay, so this stack was option one, and then this stack was option oh, two. Oh, I see, I see. But I think two, would you say two is winning, Joanne? This, this option? Yep. Okay. That's soft and pretty. I think I like that too. The, my blue is a little bit off, but. That's okay. I could not find that color. And you never know what your printer's gonna print it out, so it matches this more, so it'll kind of go together. So should we go with that one? I'm going to make an executive decision. I don't know if it's really executive, but I'm going to do it. Joanne says make both. Make both. <laughs> One and make two. Both. I like that. Okay. So we've got our heart pieces. I'm going to have to back on so I don't forget how they went. I think they went like that. Okay. That's cute. So we're going to do the same thing, but first we have to laminate it. So do we decide this for the middle? Is that kind of what we're thinking? M-O-M? Maybe? Yeah, I think that'd be cute. I'll do this one first. So, laminating, it is a UV protective vinyl. So, if you want to put like monograms on cars, the inkjet is waterproof. So, you can use it without it, but we strongly recommend using the laminate. It just looks better and it's going to last longer. Okay, so do your hinge method again. Make sure you don't have any dust or glitter, whatever you've got on your on your craft table. And I just line it up. I like to give a little bit of a ledge on the end. And then just start out slow. Because if you get any bubbles, they're not going to come out. So just kind of go slow and steady. Pamela is wondering where you got the wood from. The wood so cut out. is from... Called in Blackfoot, Idaho. What was it called? Wood Station. Wood, Wood Station. Station. Wood and Station in Blackfoot. They're a division of what's the one in Salt Lake? Wood Connection. Yeah. So they get from Wood Connection, but Wood Station's in um, Blackfoot. Or if you live in Idaho Falls, there's Wood Creation. Um, I don't know if they get from Wood Connection, but they have stuff that's similar. So 
Or you can make your own. Hobby Lobby has some wood letter cutouts too. And Michael's does too, don't they? Yeah. I think those ones were from Hobby Lobby, yeah? Yeah, they were. Yeah. The big ones. So, there's lots last places. I'm sure you can get them online too. Even on like Etsy. Some people do their own wood cutting businesses, so. Okay, so I've got it nice and flat. No bubbles, hopefully. So, I don't know if you can zoom into this. I can't really move it. Let me trim it and I'll show you. So I'm just gonna trim up the edges. And then I like to let it sit for a while because you want the laminate to get a good bond onto your vinyl before you cut. So if you look right, there's kind of like gray, weird colors. You just need to do a better um, burnishing on it so you get the glue really down. So, so remind us, or um, yeah, for those just tuning in, what, what have you done so far? We are working on making some mom blocks. So we had our viewers choose some of our patterns that we printed out with our inkjet printable vinyl. And this is what we chose. And this is from a pattern pack you can get on Etsy from Jenny. <laughs> I'll pull it up again. This is the pattern pack from Etsy. Called Mommy Jenny Gear. Elf. And you can just pop those into your silhouette or just print them out like normal onto the inkjet printable vinyl. In that thing, you don't need registration marks with this because you're basically just printing your own pattern vinyl. So, super fun. So that one's ready to go. We'll do the next one for people who are just tuning in. We're taking our laminates. This one's really close, but these were just scraps that we had. So you don't have to do the whole thing. Maybe you want to save some of it for later to do with the premium laminate and you don't want it on that. Just do whatever size you need to. Okay. Do it again. Do the hinge method. Lay it down. Do a little bit of an overlap so you kind of have a secure spot and then just slowly okay and I said before I like to let it sit for a while because then the adhesive if you let it sit for a day when you're doing this it kind of you can see little streak spots that's just the adhesive um, bonding so if you see streak spots the next day you won't see them because it's fully bonded so. also when you're printing your patterns Every printer is different, um, but we recommend putting it on your best setting so you get better colors. You won't get streaks and stuff like that. And darker colors, I maybe let sit a little bit longer. Inkjet vinyl is kind of like a sponge. The more color you put into it, it's not going to bleed, but if you put a lot of color into it, it might smear a little bit. So keep that in mind. Colors like this that are pastels, they're not a heavy color. So there's our next one. I'll do the other one. Do you have any other questions in the ink chat? Any craft questions? Oh, we're going to say where to find the laminate. Oh my God, it's cut. This one's the economy laminate. I don't it's... <laughs> That's hard to see. That's funny. So this is actually a good example. I don't want that on there. So I'm going to trim off that piece that was from something else. And I'm just going to do part of it because my am will fit. So. Right. And where do you find the laminate? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the laminate is in a separate category from the inkjet. Like I said, we recommend using it with the laminate or with the inkjet. So the laminates, if you go under the category section on the website and you go under the cover over category and slide down to permanent, it's like the fourth or fifth category. Um, and you'll find it in sheets, in rolls, um, they're like 8.5 by 11, 12 by 12, 5 yard rolls, and then there's, what is the other one, 8 by 24, yeah, mm -hmm. 8 by 24 sheet. So, yeah. And Joanne um, is going to put up a link to where you can find the laminates. Or she did put up a link. Fastest yeah. flash. And the ink jets are under that same category. They're just under ink jet, not laminate. All right. Do you guys have any questions while we're going? Let us know. 
We are here to help. Okay. So, what we got to do, you could just trace it, cut it with scissors, um, or you could use your knife. My knife is probably not going to fit in there. So, what I'm going to do, you want to make sure you're tracing it right. This is going to be, oh, I'm going to do it wrong after I say that. This is going to be on this top piece. So, I'm just going to flip it over and trace the back. And then I'm just gonna cut it. You could do the same thing um, in Silhouette program. If you cut out your own font, oh, am I seeing it? I can't see. Um, if you cut out your own font, you can just cut out the vinyl as well. Just keep in mind um, if you do cut out your vinyl or your wood out of the same image that's in your silhouette program, it might be a little bit off, so don't get discouraged if it's off. Mine's already off because I can't seem to trace. <laughs> it's like, the wood's not completely flat, so it's kinda, I wouldn't use a pen, really. There we go. Okay. And then just trim it up. I'm actually just gonna trim across the bottom. Did anybody order inkjet vinyl this week? Or has anybody never tried inkjet vinyl? I need a good question for people to answer. <laughs> All right. There's lots of fun stuff you can do with the inkjet. Um, a while ago I gave some to my mom and she did alcohol inks on it and made her own pattern with alcohol inks and then you could cut stuff out of that. That's a good idea. You did watercolor, didn't you? Yes. You yeah, we tried paint? a few things. There's been finger painting done on it. Yeah, finger painting. And you just laminate it to protect that? Yeah. So, it's a fun vinyl. Ooh, Sherry ordered it two days ago, so she should be getting it soon. Has she ever tried it before? This is new. And Ruth ordered it but hasn't tried it yet, so. Well, it's fun. And you can get tons of patterns on Cricut. You can get them on Silhouette. You can get them on Etsy. Sometimes you can find free ones out there. Um, there's tons of places to get patterns. And the Inkjet has a permanent adhesive, so it works good for lots. I was going to have some sitting in a bowl of water. Just to show that it's waterproof. Um, Gina has a good question. Do you have to laminate the inkjet vinyl? You don't. Um, I like to because it just gives it a nice finished clean look. Um, where's one that can be printed on? If you, I don't even know if you can see it. If you put it outside, can you even see that? A little bit, yeah. The print could possibly come off. It's still waterproof. But if you put it outside on like a car decal, um, wind erosion or whatever, <clears throat> it did not do a good job. <laughs> That's okay. We'll pretend. <laughs> we'll pretend. Okay. That's a good lesson. Watch your print lines. Yes. I didn't watch, because it doesn't print to the edge. And I hit the edge. So, we'll do something later with that. We'll fix it later. Crafting live. I didn't even think about that. So what I'd probably do is square those up before. Just square it up to the line. Sherry says she has some coming. It's on the way. I love inkjet vinyl. I think it's so fun. And Denise says, is there inkjet? Um, I'm assuming she means HTV. Yes. It's brand new. Um, Joanne did a video on Thursday about it. Thursday? Yeah. Yesterday. Thursday. Yesterday. So long. Ago. Was <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> and um, it's super fun. It's durable. We've washed it a couple times on one shirt and it does great. Um, it's only available in eight and a half by eleven sheets, right? So yep. All right. So when I trace this, it's a little bit off. So just go through and trim off any excess. And you can sand it a little bit. You just don't, if you do decide to sand, sand one way. Don't go back and forth because you're just going to lift your vinyl. So sand against the vinyl. 
Here, can you do that again? I had the camera on your face, oh. not down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so we've got this here. Um, there's some spots that might need a little bit of cleanup. My box knife can't quite get to it, so use an X-Acto knife. Um, but you can go in and sand it like you would be able to do on paper. But if you do decide to do that, don't go back and forth. Just sand against the vinyl. Because if you go back and forth, you're going to lift up your vinyl. And you might get dust and stuff under there and it won't stick. That's a good tip. So, um, I have had have had people ask why not just use paper. I could put this outside and it would be totally fine. Your wood would probably um, start to swell or get damaged before your vinyl would because your vinyl is waterproof. So if you want to put it outside for something cute like a pot next to your flower beds or just something fun, I would use jet vinyl. Same thing with our banner that we did. This, the only thing that might not survive is the wood. But if you coat them or seal them, it should be fine. So what was our next one? Pamela says, uh, could you use, or is there a reason you use a box cutter instead of scissors? Um, I use both. Um, I'm actually going to use scissors on this one. You can do either or. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with. A lot of times my box knife is <laughs> what's right there. So I just use my box knife. And Morris says, do you still laminate the HT, sorry, the HTV version of the inkjet? No. And it actually works on both lights and dark fabrics. And you don't mirror it. So you just print right onto it. And then you do have to manually move it over. And it is a white um, material. So it's not a clear or an opaque. But you don't laminate it. So if you scroll down our page a little bit um, when this is over, Joanne did a live yesterday using the Inkjet HTV. So if you scroll down a little bit, you can find that, and it'll give you some more details of it. We also have all the instructions on our website, too. Okay. This time we'll use scissors. Just cover all of our videos, So I think Joanne might be a mind reader. She just put Which a one? to the... Joanne's watching. Our, our Joanne here. As I was talking about the instruction, she posted a link. Oh. <laughs> now you're using scissors. See? You can use whatever you're comfortable with. Um, we got a question about, are you still sending the kit for orders over $40? Yes. It's $40 before shipping. Um, and I don't think you have to... It just automatically goes into your cart, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So once you hit 40 pre-shipping prices, um, it'll just go in your cart. So you'll get one. So it's kind of fun. We've had application tools. These are new-ish, right? <laughs> We've had them before, so, have we? If you spend over $40, you get this cute little measuring tape. <laughs> Maura says it's the first time, um, first time I had my name mentioned in a video. Well, welcome. <laughs> oh, and Tammy wants to know what the kit is. So while you're cutting that, I'm going to show her. So watch Starla cut in the background and I'm going to show you the kit. Okay, so if you spend over $40 this week, you get this cute little blue pouch and it has an application tool which Starla was using to put on the laminate. You can also use it to apply vinyl. It's very handy. And you get this cute little measuring tape. And these were printed out of my printer. I have touched every single one of these stickers. <laughs> and then um, it's this cute little measuring tape. So you can see what the printable is like. This has a premium laminate on top of it. And then a cute little card that tells you where, or what is on, how we made that. Um, Man, words are hard. How we made that sticker. The products we used. Okay, how that cute is that cute. M? I love it. That pattern is so fun. You could probably maybe do some like distressing with ink. I don't know how that would do on the laminates. I haven't tried it on the laminate. I have tried it on the bare printable and it just soaks right in and is cute. Yeah, we should have. How cute is this? 
Got our M. Do you guys have any good ideas for what to give your mom? Mom, if you're still watching, you can't listen to this, but what to give your mom for Mother's Day? Let's hear some good ideas. I don't know what to give my mom for Mother's Day. Maybe you'll get this. <laughs> Do you guys make crafts for your mom for Mother's Day? See, I can't really make stuff because she's crafty and she can make her own stuff. Maybe I could still make her something. Get card to Target. Joanne, what are some things you've given your mom for Mother's Day? Oh, a gift card to Target's a good idea. <laughs> Quilting stuff. I think I'm crafty stuff more. She does the quilting part and I do the this type of crafty stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mackenzie says we are doing custom painted tumblers. That's super fun. Joanne says Mother's Day. Oh, where'd it go? in March in the UK, so I sent chocolate to mine. Ooh, chocolate is always a good idea. Thanks. <laughs> My mom makes her own vinyl stuff. She got me started on it. <laughs> well, I will be making her a decor mesh wreath. Good idea, Lori. I like that. Yeah, it would be a perfect Mother's Day gift is a gift certificate to Expressions of Vinyl. Ooh. <laughs> That'd be a fantastic idea. Aloha. Mom, I don't know what to do with that. She just give it to me, right, Mom? <laughs> So you're cutting out the O? Yep. Or the flower? The flower, the flower O. I should have added some green for the leaves, but that's okay. It's just a funky flower. I'm going to hash this name, and I'm so sorry, but we got an aloha from Vegas from Alui. I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry, but it's beautiful. Alui. Aloha from Vegas. Those are like my two favorite places, Hawaii and Vegas. Is anybody doing ancient stuff right now? I think someone said they were. Maybe they're doing a project like this one. Auli'i. Is that right? Auli. Am I closer? Auli'i. Thank you for the <laughs> phonics version. Okay. I'm not very good at Hawaiian. But I love it. It's so pretty. Like to hear people speak it, it's so pretty. Not me speaking it. Other people that can actually do it. <laughs> I like Moana. Perfect. Oh, Auli'i. Oh, that's so Auli. pretty. Yeah. What, what, what did you say? I just said I like Moana. Oh, Moana. It's a cute show. Moana's pretty cute. I like the dumb crab. <laughs> I like Maui because it's the rock. Starla's got a thing for the rock. We were going to get her a cardboard cutout of him, but we couldn't find one. <laughs> I like the rock. He's a good guy. Okay. <laughs> Sherry says, I love those M's. Look at those right. cute M's. Okay, so, and I forgot my glue, but we're just going to lay it down and we'll glue it later. So, there is our... I'm going to hold it all. So cute. <laughs> We'll lay it down like this. Can you go down there? That's cute. I don't even know how that goes. That's okay. Oh, probably like this. Okay. So now you have a fun gift for your mom, or if you're a mom, you've got a fun decor for yourself. So we've got the inkjet vinyl with our economy laminate. Joanne's posted links on those. And then we've got our Tiffany blue glitter, which we also use in our Hello Summer. So. Anybody have any other questions before we go? Um, the coupons, again, if you're interested in the inkjet vinyl or you want to try it out or you just need more of it, it's Measure Up 18. That is the inkjet adhesive and HTV. So 20% off of those. Go apply that code in the checkout. Get as many as up to $40 and then you get the fun little kit. So, any other questions? Um, let's see. Tammy says adorable. Pamela says love this project. 
Uh, share with your friends if you loved it. Yes. Share um, if anybody. These are fun to do for like craft um, groups and stuff or if you need like a craft night with your friends. It's super easy to make. Print out a bunch of those um, patterns and there you go. So I hope everybody thought that was fun. Go try it out. Go get your coupon on there. Share it with your friends and have a great Friday. Bye guys.